Is there a certain song that you still can't listen to? Um, the one that's probably hardest to hear would, would be um, Dreaming of You, because really? of the story behind it when she was recording it. Um, yeah, I was at home working on another project for her dad. He was wanting to produce another band, so I was working on some music for that, and she called that night that she had just tracked her vocal there in Corpus, and she called and she's like, hey, uh, like kind of whispering, because she was in the studio still, can you come and, and um, come check out this song that I did? And I was like, man, I can. I'm over here working with your dad, you know. Or no, not with her dad, but I'm over here working on that project your dad wanted me to work on. And she's like, you can't get away. I said, no, they're here in the house. What am I going to do? Kick them out. We're right in the middle of a session. She's like, oh, okay. And then uh, I said, okay. Well, you know, we wrapped up the phone call, went back to work, and then everything went down, you know. And when I heard the song, I was like, that's the one that she wanted me to. So whenever it pops up, I'm usually like not in my element. I might be out and about somewhere, and it comes on, and I'm almost forced to hear it, you know. But yeah. that, 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 that would be the hardest the hardest one. It's not that I can't hear it, it's just I remember that and like how I wish I should I could have just said um, I'm out of here, you know, tell the guys I'm out and gone to hear it, but um, a little something she, she never really did that. It's been a big year for Selena and fans, you know, the Selena Cup that just came out with Stripes, yeah. uh, lines for the HEB bag, her makeup line, she finally got the Hollywood star. You know, why do you think there's been such a resurgence in her popularity, and why now? Um, I just think that, like, uh, the more time that's gone by since she's passed, um, the more of an icon she becomes. You know, everything she stood for, obviously the music still stands the test of time. Um, and just what she represented, you know, for Latino people, Latino, Latino um, say women, uh, the kids loved her. I mean, she still connects with them. Um, and I know firsthand because like around Halloween, I started getting a lot of pictures on social media of kids, you know, that are dressed as her and even some that are dressed as me and then they're out and about going, doing their trick or treating. And it's just an amazing thing, the, the phenomenon and, and, you know, uh, her legacy that she left behind. And do you think her legacy and popularity will continue to grow from here? I think so. Yeah. I mean, it's a constant, uh, pleasant surprise every year, especially around this time of year, you know, of um, her birthday and the, the, the anniversaries that come up around now. It's like I notice them. Um, uh, that's when I really notice it the most. Um, and and I'm, we were talking about this earlier now when, when uh, commercials come on or, or like the advertisement for the cups or whatever, they always seem to pop up out of the blue for me. Um, and before, years back, they used to be a source of like... Uh, you know, sadness and just the, the whole missing her kind of thing. But in the recent years that have passed, it's become more of a joyful thing and like a proud moment. And, you know, because I'm reminded of, of how the impact that she's had on so many people. You were there for her Hollywood star, is that correct? When yeah. she finally yeah, got Yeah, we it? were there. It was amazing. I mean, not only the experience of, of watching it all go down and being there, and, and she broke a record, which amazes me still to this day that she's still breaking records in attendance, you know what I mean, uh, out there. And it's just like, we, I got to spend time in the Capitol Records building, which we hadn't done since back in the day when um, we used to do business out, out there, you know, with her. But um, to be in the studio that Frank Sinatra recorded in and a bunch of other people that I look up to, um, it was an amazing experience that day. You know, if Selena were, were with us today, what is one thing that you wish you could say to her? Um, well, it's, that's, a, that's a good question. I mean, my mind works in a, in a weird way in that if she were here today, I think of all the stuff that we would have accomplished as opposed to what has been done since she's been gone, you know. Um, and I have a pretty big imagination, so it, I, I know, you know, I have no doubt that she would have been as successful as some of the other great artists that are out there. Um, right now, female artists um, and male artists um, and the music we would have created, she would have created together. I mean, I can only imagine. Um, but basically, I'm just, I would just say how proud I am of her, that I love her and that I miss her. And, um, you know, she's continuing to do a great job and, and, and break barriers, and which is something that she was 
doing back when she was alive, and I'm just really proud. And I'm glad for the part that I played, proud of the part that I played in, in, um, in all of that with her. If there was one message that you hope people would take away from this interview today, um, what would that message be? Um, I would just, on my behalf, want to say thank you to um, all her fans and the people that have kept her legacy alive and her music and uh, memory and, you know, that continue supporting the movie and things like that. Um, nowadays with social media, I get to stay in contact with a lot of her fans, which is amazing because I never, you know, a few years back I didn't have that opportunity and always kind of felt um, like I was at the mercy of um, the press and print and things like that. And nowadays I can actually come out and say how I feel or as opposed to things being uh, twisted, you know. And, and so for everybody that's stuck around and, and still follows me, I just want to say thank you and um, thank you for supporting Selena also.